Hello and welcome to this video. This video will be about how to modify a 9 gram servo using <laughs> the tools you've got in your house and modifying it so it can do continuous rotation and not only 180 degrees. Um, you're going to need a few things. Um, you're going to need, of course, the HXT 909 gram servo. Um, would probably also work with an Eternity 9 gram servo, I'm not sure, I haven't done it, uh, I haven't tried it. Um, but this servo, and you're going to need a sharp knife, um, something like this, and you're going to need a soldering iron and some soldering tin, and, and you're going to need a microcontroller of some sort, I'm using the Arduino Uno. To, to use it on just some breadboard wires um, and I think yeah, well, you could also use a, a hot glue gun um, but I'll get to that later um, you also need to write a simple simple code or you can just write off me and you get to see it later so let's get started right so the first thing thing we're gonna do is take this servo apart and that's about the simplest step <laughs> that we're going to do. Um, we're going to take a small, small screwdriver because it's some very, very small screws. And then we're gonna just unscrew. When you've unscrewed the four screws that holds the servo together, you're gonna need to. No, this one ain't. You're gonna need to take your sharp knife and then you're gonna cut where the opening is. You're gonna cut the the sticker or something like that on both sides but it went off on my other side. I don't know why. Um and then you're gonna take it apart and just Lay them, lay it like that, and put it to the side. Um, now, you got to do take this one out, the small micro chip or controller here, and you're gonna take the top one off. And now, remember how those gears were set. You can you can take a picture um, of it because we're going to take those gears off, and then what we're really interested in one here is what we're really interested in so if you just take the back of your knife pop it in there and then just try if you can get it out just like that so this is the potentiometer but first we're going to write some code so this is the code um, that I wrote it's very very simple and what it does is that it um, it rotates the the servo um, until the center position is 90. And the center position is regulated by that potentiometer um, that I showed you about before. And that's why that's interesting. So now we're going to take the Arduino board and we're going to plug it into the servo. And the servo needs 5 volts and you can see here on the Arduino it says 5 volts right there with, what, with by the yellow wire here and the ground is the green one and um, we're going to plug it in the ground is the green one so we're going to plug that in to the ground which is the black or the brown one in the servo this wire here and then oh, that was the 5 volts we're going to plug the ground into there and the 5 volts to the red wire in the middle. Um, and then the signal wire. I wrote in the code that I'll attach it to pin 9. Um, so that's what I did. Pin 9 says right there. So we should end up with it connected something like this. Put, put um, power to the Arduino board like that. I'm just going to zoom in here. Let's just set it to max. 
I don't know if you can see it, but the servo is running right now. Um, it's going to see if I can turn it around like that. This the servo motor is running right now, and by turning the potentiometer, it goes down in voltage. And where it is really interesting is when it's completely still. It's completely still now. It doesn't rotate at all. So that's where we want to keep it. There. Just put a lot of glue in there. And then, of course, wait till it dries. Right, so what you're going to do now is a bit complicated because you shouldn't touch the potential armor very much because it just turned. But this little dot right here um, is what you're going to put some solder on. And make sure that you've disconnected the servo from the Arduino or the Arduino from power because then you, if not, you're going to gonna create a, a, a ground by touching um, and you're not interested in that so what you're gonna do is you're gonna put some solder and solder not solder um, onto here onto the the solder soldering iron and you're going to put it on there and just wait a second and put some more solder on like that but now we need to to connect it again and make sure that it won't move all right now place the potentiometer where it sh it should be and it used to be before and then connect power to the arduino controller board like that and Really, it shouldn't really move now, but it does a little bit. Um, so, it doesn't move now. Um, and it really shouldn't move at all. Um, so, this is very good, it doesn't move at all. Alright, so the next step um, is the gears. And there's two taps sticking out from the the main gear or the gear that that goes out through the servo hole um, and those should be removed those stop taps so when they reach the other gear it will simply stop and can't move further so this is where the sharp knife come in, comes into the picture and what you're going to do is um, simply just put some pressure on it and it should should just break off like that. You see it just broke off. So the next step um, is to expand this hole in the middle um, because it should be able to move freely on the potentiometer axle. So how you do that is you're going to need a, um, a flat screwdriver um, 1.4 millimeter I think it is yes 1.4 millimeter and simply drill in there um, and just loosen it up and widen it up a bit um, see, like that so when you've done that a bit you're going to take a 5 star or something 1.5 millimeter and you're going to press that against the opening again and when you've expanded it enough it should be able to move freely on the potentiometer axle. Alright, now you're basically ready to assemble your servo. The first thing you need to do is just pop the, the, the upper one off that, that axle there and pop it into the hole where it needs to be. Just press it in there just like that and then you're going to take the smallest the smallest 
gear of the mall and make sure it fits the motor. See it turns when I turn the gear here. So and next you should take so and then put the the second gear on there and take the third largest gear and put on the other axle and then at last your big gear here. Right. So just press it down. Right, and then put this over it all and see if it fits and it does. So now this one comes and take the screws out of this one or it'll be very hard to put together with the screws in it. So take the screws out and make sure to know where the wire is. You could try to fix this in here again but I had some more trouble uh, doing it. Last time I modded a servo, so I just thought it was easier to place it outside. So, and then take these screws and put them in here. Just start by two screws and take the smallest that you've got, this one, smallest flat head you've got. So, and now you can just glue this to the side or wherever you'd like to to have it and put some heat shrink over it you could do that as well. Alright to show you that the servos actually work and do continuous rotations in both directions I wrote a small code to the Arduino board um, that lets me control the um, direction and the control rate or the control movement of the servos using a potentiometer and um, this servo is the one we modified um, it's white in here so that's the one we modified this one over here is one I modified earlier and um, just to show that you can actually connect two servos to do the same rotation in my code um, I just show you so if I put power to the Arduino board you can see if I turn the potentiometer they keep turning and if I turn it the other way they keep turning the other way so that's if I keep it still they're still almost so that's um, that's it and uh, thank you for watching and um, I hope some of you will try my modifying and Tell me in the comments below or um, on my website um, if I could do it anything better or if your modifying works it will be excellent. If you have any questions for the, modif for the mod you can also ask them. So please do. Bye.